Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. You might think of the Hawaiian Islands as a place of tranquility. You wouldn't think that way if you have to deal with the Hawaii Warriors. They've completed their pregame battle dance. Now the final stretch as Hawaii tries to defend its home island. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. in all of college football. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Butler has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. to the 40 and they make the stop around the 45 yard line you talk about a dual threat guy this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground from their own 45 yard line first down tackled after decent pickup Ball in the 29. On the throw, incomplete pass. Johnson says he's intended to see on the play. That makes it second and 10. Bring him down at the 31. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, he's right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 31. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Hawaii could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And it's good. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's have a look at what's going on in Morgantown. There was never any room to breathe in this game. West Virginia finishes at 24-20. Reese, 3-0 here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24. The Bulldogs always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. 
So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Now he's scrambling. The defense scoops it. Brought down at the 36. They work hard and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. Hawaii has a three-point lead. Big opening. He's at the 20. For the 10. Touchdown, Warriors. carry for the fullback. He ran a lot of yards to make it in for the score. Some good blocks early helped spring him, but he did the rest. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Miller fields it at the one. Tackle at the 30-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. Clipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That's a game of four one way. That makes it second and six. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at about the 13. Loss of about two. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Third and eight. Ball on the 13. quickly and he's got his man and down he goes right around the 14 yard line Martin is the punter Sparks fields at the 44 and down he goes at the 36 yard line the Warriors are having a ton of fun down there on the sidelines. You can just see that everything's clicking for them. It's looking easy. Now, remember, it's still early in this football game. And if I'm the defense on the other side of the football, I'm trying to come up with ways when we're on the sideline of what we can do to stop this powerful offense. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 36. Double, double, double. Aiden's getting the ball here. Aiden's getting the ball. Ready! He's scrambling. And he tackles him hard at the 26 yard line. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The 
The kick is away. It's long enough. And he just drilled it from long range. Jackson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Shaw from the four. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. The Warriors have found a way to shut this offense down, but, hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. High five. High five. Run on. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's to the 40. And he's tackled at the 49-yard line. If you're the defense coordinator, you got to be frustrated with the way your defense gave up that first down. The defense has got to do a better job of recognizing the screen and then chasing it down from behind, especially the defensive linemen. They've got to see whether it's the quarterback or the offensive lineman to tip the screen and then help the rest of the defense be able to slow that play down and not give up that first down. He's got it out to his tight end. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. As we change ends of the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. Hawaii's got a 13-point lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. He tackles him for a loss. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. Blocking wasn't there. And down he went. They're about four yards away here on third down. Setting up play action. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Right now he wants to get this kick away and change field position. Didn't get all of that one. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. And they'll get him in the backfield. He wasn't decisive at all in that option, and once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. They line up at the nine. Second down. So they give it to the fullback, and he's able to get him eight on the carry. Slides down. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. From their own 28-yard line, first down. Nice run there. Young picks up about four yards on the play. yard line and for Sullivan he moves past the 100 yard mark and that is a great pass he's a very athletic quarterback and he's showing it today so we've got a first down after a great running play the 
10. Touchdown, Hawaii! And he converts the extra point. So that's a six-play, 89-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. So the score now, 20 to nothing. Hawaii is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think I can count on one hand the last time I saw this good a defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me in college football today? With the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed in space, these guys got a chance to put up a shutout. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And they make the stop around the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. throws right away and it's incomplete that one sailed on it he wanted his receiver but I think that may have slipped out of his hands it's third and eight ball on the 27 yard line goes quickly and it's almost intercepted let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense that makes it fourth and eight Martin is waiting for the snap. He makes it to the 48-yard line. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. For the 20, the 10. Touchdown! Huge play! Wow. Complete dominance so far on both sides of the football. For one side, I'm feeling this game is going to feel a lot longer than 60 minutes. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Let's have a look at what's going on with the top five. The Hokies keep pounding away on the ground, and they find Pater. And for Wesley, he stuck it in the end zone twice. The Hokies lead 21-14. It's 27 to nothing here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Easy, easy. Blair, Throws this one out to the right. That makes it second and ten. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Here we go! Caught out of the open. Steps out of bounds at about the 35. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. From their own 35-yard line. First down. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 45. Number 20 brings him down at the 45-yard line. 
Yeah. Makes it first and ten. Mike, five, Mike, five. Ready, hold! Yeah. 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 That's good for a game of 16 yards. First down. Three down, three down. Five to Mike. Five to Mike. Easy, 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 easy. He's on the run. He lost the ball, and the defense picks it up. And he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. Side of this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. Right down, right around the 36 yard line. That brings in second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Hawaii looking to put this game away if they score here. to scramble but he's sacked well, we talked all week with these coaches and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends they thought that they might be able to hold up against him maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside but right now whatever they thought they might be able to do they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick jackson awaits the snap He makes it to the 35-yard line. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. He passes it. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. Gets it. He's in space. He steps out at the 36. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up second and three. Bring it! Mike five, Mike five. Run it! Come on! Catches it, and he's looking for more. He goes out of bounds at the 31. Marshall gains about five yards on the play. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Throws complete. He's hammered. The Bulldogs will use their first time out of the half. Second down and five. Ball on the 26-yard line. Now he's scrambling. And down he goes around the 21-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Deep ball, laying it out there. Can't connect. He made the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. From the 21-yard line, second down. Caught open field, and he's taken down right around the 16-yard line. Robinson picks up around five yards with that catch. Fresno State's out of timeouts. It's the ninth play of the drive. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. The 
probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 29. We played a half of football. Hawaii leads 27-3. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Not that we're rooting one way or the other for this game to come out with either team winning, but what a treat it is to see the maturity and the discipline and the focus of this squad to come out and perform to the level that they have. Yeah, because it's not something that, that we can always put our finger on. You know, we sometimes people come out flat, and you talk to coaches, and coaches are like, we had them ready to play. We Everything was just like we thought it was and just like it was normally. We had a great week of practice. How many times do you hear that? But sometimes it doesn't translate. So it's good to see a team that's mature enough, that comes out, takes care of business, leaves no doubt, wipes away the opponent's hope in the first half, come out the second half, get some PT for the younger guys, the backups, you sit on the bench, chill out a little bit. You can even take a peek at the cheerleaders sometimes during timeouts. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. <laughs> we loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Five wide. It's complete, and he's tackled at the 46. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires out to his wideout. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. He's taken down at the 38. Gain of nine yards. First down. He's got it with room to run. Gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and in inches. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike five. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick pass. He's tackled right around the 18-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. From the 16 yard line, second down. The 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense.
from the 10 yard line. Second down. And he is drilled at the one. Davis makes the tackle at the one yard line. That makes it third and goal. This one should be makeable. It's up, and it is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 28. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Nice run, and he's brought down. The fullback rumbles for a six yard gain on the option. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Hey, check by 45. Check by 45. Here we go. Red and green. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Personal foul. Clipping. Clipping. Offense. Offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So it's second down and long now after the penalty. Watch 14. Watch 14. You got nothing. You got nothing. And he's hit immediately. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. About four yards away here on third down. Makes it out to about the 49. Trying to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 49 yard line. Gains his way to the 43 yard line. That's good for him. And this play is number eight on the drive. Maybe it's time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. 27 to 6, Warriors.
Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He's at the 20. And that sets them up for the first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. have the capability to gain solid consistent yardage they have to regroup come out a bit more motivated next time and this is the 10th play of the drive Touchdowns a result. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Warriors have a defense that's a sight to behold, Kirk. Well, they just play with a chip on their shoulder. They are all over the field. The defensive line knows their job. The linebackers, the safeties, the corners. Everybody plays as one, and they've been fun to watch today. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. And they make the stop, the 33-yard line. Game of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. tries to buy some time. They bring him down. Well, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. five-yard line. Martin is waiting for the snap. And he's tackled at the 30. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. The pitch, and he's got some room. Inside the 30. He's all the way. Touchdown. He 
got the ball, and he was gone. And let me add one thing. The offensive line deserves some credit here. I mean, they opened up a huge hole for him to run through. Tacks on the extra point. Hawaii to kick this one off. From his own goal line. And he's hammered down. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. the 30 to the 20 the 10 huge gain and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal less than three minutes in the game well they're not going to win it but they're still playing hard out there that's what makes this offense so tough to defend. When you have a quarterback with the ability to run and throw and he gets down into this area of the field, chances are he's going to find his way into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. pull this one out, but you admire the hustle to recover the onside kick even at this point in the game. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. You know, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play ball. It could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage, and then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. Scrambling around. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. it out to about the 37 yard line you've got to go after yards and bigger chunks under these circumstances short runs aren't going to cut it anymore sparks the return man and he's taken down at the 36 A touchdown was the result of their last drive, and a good chunk of those yards were gained by way of the rushing attack. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They're about four yards away here on second down. Just over a minute left. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. That makes it 33.
And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Hawaii 41, Fresno State 13. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.